Again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have a variety of swipe cards, and I may not use any of them. I may just go ahead and see how many swipe, how many ways I can use that OXO omelet turning spatula to swipe with, which is available on the Amazon link under the link tree. I'm going to shake up my black. I'm going to bring my 12 inch by 24 inch canvas to the forefront. I am going to spread some black enamel across the top, but first I'm going to put a layer down that I'm going to use to put other colors on top of once it's spread. And hopefully I'll do that fairly quickly. I'm thinking about using this shovel, some golden, although I probably don't need to do that. So I do like to have a pre-primed dry black canvas because that means I don't have to go around touching up afterwards too much unless I'm trying to get rid of the matte color. So the Artist Loft paint will also sell with gold and most any other color, including the white I'm thinking about using. I'm going to touch over my edge just because I may be pulling some spare paint down there and I might want it to smooth out. So a base layer is nice to make other paints as a catalyst for other paints and to make them move more easily. And I have a really pretty heavy layer. And I'm going to throw that spatula in the bucket and I'm going to do something I don't usually do. <laughs> I'm going to complain about a closed bottle. Actually, I'm not. You know what? I'm really not. I'm going to use the gold in the big bottle. I'm going to fill that shovel as full as I can fill it without it flowing off. And I'm going to tip it toward the edge. I'm going to let it flow over the edge, in fact. Now, it seems like I wasted a little bit of that, but I don't want to waste any of it. So I'm going to pull it forward and just put it down below because I don't think that's going to hurt anything. Now what I really want to do is get all of that paint out of that shovel because I'm stingy? No. Because <laughs> I like to save, I like to use all my paint. What can I say? And I'm going to throw that shovel in the bucket so it doesn't harden on there. So I have a bunch of colors that I like the, the look of. And I'm going to kind of, I'm going to be a little random, but I'm going to try and combine things I really like. That is the Venetian Blue from Master Minds. And this is a color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. And I'm going to go through these one at a time. I'm not sure what this is, but it's got iridescent pearl fine in it from, from Golden. This is a Prussian Blue, which will I know will sell with almost everything, so I'm just going to throw a little bit of that in there. This is a color shifting blue, which is so old I can't remember anything except for that it was probably, well maybe it's not a color shifting blue, maybe it's something I created. In any case, it's a light blue. <laughs> now usually what I would think is probably per, uh, silver would go better with these. I'm going to give myself, am I? Maybe I'm not. <laughs> I was going to give myself a little bit of this green gold. But unless I stick a skewer in it to open it up again, oh boy, that really doesn't want to come out. And I really want some of it out. And it's a nice color shift from Folk Art. And it's undeniably plugged, which is really strange because I just used it an hour ago. But you got to clean your threads out on these bottles. Or every time you screw something back on, you're taking a risk of losing something. I kind of want to put some uh, 
some pink enamel at the top and I haven't put my enamel down there yet. I've got a little bit of this Heart Mines turquoise that's an iridescent that's impossible to find now because Plaid stopped making it and we hope they do go back to making it. I thought it might be cool just to put a little bit of orange laid in 24 karat gold in there and do I want anything else? You know, I kind of, I'm looking at that, whoa, I'm looking at that and I'm looking at this and this is, this is also plugged. This is my other faux cart. I hope this works. <laughs> I really do. This is my other faux cart color shifting. This is a minty green and that had a rather large plug in it. So I wonder if I use that. All right, so if I want to do something else, I'll do it afterwards. In the meantime, I'm going to use my OXO armlet turning spatula. I'm going to flip it over a few times and scrape it off into my dish. You know what? I didn't put that enamel up there. <laughs> After all that, and now I'm going to go back and do it. I guess we can see if we had any cells. There we go. That's what I was looking for right there. I had an idea yesterday while I was doing this, and I'm going to use all of this paint in this dish probably to cover my edges. And I probably could have used, I could have probably left some of this color behind, but that's not what this experiment was about. And every time I swipe down with that spatula, a very light touch, by the way, I kind of want a little more gold right there. And I'll take some color and put it right over the edge right there too. Now what do I want in there? Not much I gotta say. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. But I want to play and I had a plan. And my plan included putting some more black up there. I thought, but I think what I'm gonna do instead, well I thought, <laughs> well I thought what I was gonna do instead. Coming out, out you come. Oh wow. Okay, it's pretty hot out here today. And that's what happens when it's hot, is your bottles plug up when you go in the house. No matter how large the opening is, and that was a pretty large opening. I don't want to do much to that, to tell you the truth, but I'm going to anyway. Because I was thinking about this yesterday. And the white pearl from Anita's, it's, an, it's a white metallic, will sell with almost any action. And this blue, Venetian blue, disappears. So I'm going to see if I can't take one of these little cards. And it looks like I probably could have spread a little more color. So I'm going to try a little black enamel. Let's spread those down in. I'll just give myself some tendrils. And I may even drag up. There. Kind of like that, and that's all right. I've got my blue and I've got my turquoise. And I might want some purple.
because I can. That's the name of my first book I wrote. It's on the Amazon link under Show More. On the tr link tree with all the other links. And I hope there's enough paint, but I think what I'm going to do is make sure there's enough paint by adding a little bit. I'm going to use that that I just put down for my leftovers. And I can drag anything I want back down in and add some colors. Just the corner of the card is enough to drag a few lines through, exposing other colors. Oops, that was some nice cells I just got rid of. And every time I drag it, I expose new colors. Which is pretty neat, because I've got multi-layers of things happening here. I'm really liking it a lot. Even though the top of the canvas is dry, which I probably could have bothered to coat with something. I've got beautiful colors, and I'm going to torch really quickly and cover my bottom. And I'm going to tell you guys that uh, if you shop my Amazon link, you help me out. Whoa, big bug. <laughs> uh, at no added cost to you, and I appreciate it very much. If you share my videos, same thing. I appreciate it very much. I can pick up... Oh, I've got a hook on my card. I was going to say, I can pick up a little bit of gold from here and there. But I've got a mal-shapen mal corner on my card, which may have affected things. Who knows? So did I say, this is Priscilla Batzel from Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. I kind of like seeing some of these things being dragged off. I also like that negative space up at the top. And I could put a few other things that I want to see in there. And that skewer has all kinds of paint on it. And I'm officially having too much fun. All right, so I love you guys. I'm going to turn this around so you can see the way it best points in your direction before I do anything else. And I have a really beautiful pan of colors that I can do something with as long as I take my other little lib. These came from the party section of Michael's. Put it right on top of that. Let it be stay fresh. I'm going to torch really quickly to release some of the bubbles in the paint, assuming there are any. Yes, I'm working upside down again, which is probably not my best choice. I love the colors in there. It's just exactly what I had in mind. Anytime I see something I want changed, I can just Pull it right up there. I think a clean skewer or another skewer. They all have paintballs on the end of them. <laughs> no, stop working upside down for silver. All right, so I've hidden my crib sheet on myself or it blew away. Oh, there it is. So I should say thank you for sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. Look on the end screens for the exhibition video if you want to see what the monthly drawing prizes are. The drawing will be in the third week of the month. You can find PayPal or Patreon icons on my channel header, and the links underneath are also underneath the link tree.
along with Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. I, uh, I definitely appreciate all of the support you guys have given me over time. Help keep me painting. Thank you very much. And uh, your comments are awesome. You make my day every day. You keep my morale boosted while it's hard, while it's difficult <laughs> to do. I'm going to grab a little bit of a little bit of gold paint, or I'm going to put a little bit more gold paint in there. I think I might actually look at that and see if I like it, and I think I do. And that way any little smears I have will also become one with the picture. I love you guys. There's 86,700 and change for subscribers. Thank you guys for subscribing. Appreciate that. If you're looking for more videos, there's over 1,300 and some odd on my creative playlists under all playlists you can find them and indulge yourself easily because I organize them into genres and by the hundreds so I still kind of missed a little bit of magenta but I'm not sure what it would look like and I got two minutes to tell you guys anything else I'm going to tell you which are my Amazon link has the OXO omelet turning spatulas and the Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and cameras and tents and D-ring hardware and wire. If you look under the video, you'll find pixels.com uh, and find it America where you'll find over 1,400 of my designs, decorating products in digital and photography. You name it, it's there. Teespring clothing is all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and this is plugged as well. Go figure can't add it if it's plugged. I want to just dip my skewer in there. I just think a couple drops would be nice. And I'll be smoothing those in. They're probably too even. I might even contemplate blowing them in. But I think what I'm going to do is smooth them in. Yeah, I like that. I'm a big fan of the color of oil slicks. <laughs> and that's got a lot of those colors in it. Alright, I love you guys. I hope you take care of each other and take care of yourselves. I will see you anon. Check the community board for tomorrow's video or look on Facebook groups that are on the link tree. Facebook group Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group has tomorrow's video on it and it's a great place for students. I love you guys. Check Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more for more stuff that will take you. The shop now button there will take you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is where I have placed all of the edited artworks. And you guys, hopefully I will see you and on. That means soonish, <laughs> if you were wondering. Because people are wondering. And this is just gorgeous. And I'm very happy you joined me. I hope you join me again soon. I'll be fixing my bottom edge and my edges on those sides. Those sides. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you tomorrow maybe. Binge watch some videos if you're of a mind to. I love you. Bye, Bye for now. <laughs>